checkpoints, poorest regions and epidemics epicenters. International organizations carry out their activities in parts of the world where they are critical for people. They unite countries and continents, save millions of lives and solve global problems. Watch more of this in Kazakhstan International Vectors. The sustainable development of tourism is one of the main today's challenges for the World Tourism Organization. The increasing inflow of tourists all over the world has become a common trend for the last 10 years. People of the Pacific region are considered the first travelers. They overcame tens of thousands of kilometers in small canoes and jeopardized their lives for the sake of trade and new knowledge. And it should be noted that instead of maps, they use stars and wind as their main guides. The founder of the first tourism company was Thomas Cook. In 1841, he organized the first railway tour, which for the middle class. Before such trips were affordable only for rich people. However, it was only a domestic travel without visiting foreign states. The tour lasted several days and consisted of visiting of the picturesque places of the UK. Notably that the Cook's company is still functioning and considered one of the largest in the country. Thailand has a reputation of the country of smiles, paradisiac islands and luxury beaches. Last year, it was visited by approximately 25 million tourists. But it was not so all the time. In the times of the Vietnam War, it was a base for the U.S. Army. After the end of the armed conflict, U.S. soldiers returned to Thailand as tourists. Since then, the mass construction of hotels, bars and other touristic facilities began throughout the country. More than one billion tourists traveled throughout the world last year. And now instead of a calm rest on the seaside, more and more people prefer wildlife savannas and other kinds of the extreme leisure. Thus, for example, thousands of holidaymakers annually go to American Central Valleys in order to see with their own eyes the mightiness of Tornado Alley. Three quarters of all hurricanes in the world occur there. Other adventure seekers travel to South Africa where they closely contact with dangerous wild animals. Tourism agencies at the same time guarantee safety of such trips. Tourist safety nowadays is one of the topical issues. Indeed, in recent times, more and more holiday makers become victims of armed conflicts and terroristic attacks. The attack of Tunisia this March, which took lives of 20 foreigners, proved once again the vulnerability of the touristic industry. As a consequence, the country suffered a strong economic damage as tourists avoided dangerous places and put their safety at the top of their priorities. The world community paid attention to the problems of the travel industry long time ago. However, even in times of crisis, profits there do not fall even in times of crisis, experts say. How are risks in the tourism industry reduced nowadays and why do international organizations advocate for green technologies in the branch? Excuse me, yes. uh, uh, where can I buy souvenirs? Maya Alejandra Rodriguez Jimenez knew little about Kazakhstan. Nevertheless, she took her chance to visit the country and did not regret about that. Three years ago, she came to Almaty from Colombia and was pleasantly surprised. I'm Kotibesu and I can see here Maral, this awesome animal that I see. I went to Medeo and I really enjoy I really enjoy being there in, in winter and I skating. Is, is it going there, by the way? I, we went by car, it took us just 30 minutes and it was really nice experience skating in those awesome place. I recommend it going during the night time. The girl confessed that she fell in love not only with local places of interest but with people as well. After leaving Kazakhstan, she decided to return here once again and forever. An ordinary tourist trip has changed all her life. Let me see. Wow, so beautiful. And I really love this city, this country, the hospitality, 
that your people have is awesome and I really feel this country like a part of my country too. Here two years ago I met my husband and I really fall in love of him and I love him and I love this country, I love Almaty and you can see how beautiful is this. Maya Alejandra became one of several millions of tourists who visit Kazakhstan. Annually about 5 million foreign guests visit the Republic. Tourism nowadays has understandably become a priority area not only for Kazakhstan but for many other countries as well. Indeed, it directly affects the economic performance, creating workplaces, developing the related industries and increasing domestic revenues. Last year, the revenues of the tourism industry reached $1.5 trillion. It is almost 50 million more than in 2013. These figures were published by the World Tourism Organization or UNWTO. The World Tourism Organization is a special UN agency which deals with issues of tourism in all parts of the world. It was established in 1975 with a headquarters in Madrid, Spain. The organization consists of 165 member countries. The General Assembly is the superior management body in this organization. After that comes the Executive Council and Regional Commissions. For example, there are regional commissions for Europe, Asia and the Pacific, as well as for North America and so on. There are also regional organizations which work with particular regions. Jointly with regional commissions, UNWTO developed a special program, Tourism Satellite Account Program, which defines the role of particular sectors in the economy. Along with that, this method is used in measuring contributions into GDP, the number of workplaces in the sphere, scales of investment and many other things. Currently, Kazakhstan is gradually introducing the Tourism Satellite Account Program. However, there are some small difficulties since compiling tourism statistics is a complex process because it covers many aspects of social and economic life of the state. The Tourism Satellite Account Program demonstrated that last year the number of holiday makers increased by 50 million. According to UNWTO observations, the economic indicators in the sector have been remaining stable during five years and their sustainable growth is expected in future. According to UNWTO, in 2014 America experienced the greatest inflow of tourists, which rose by 7%. In Europe and in the Middle East, this figure increased by 4% and by 2% in Africa. They maintain constant relations with main touristic regions, monitor qualitative and quantitative aspects and observe how market conditions, in particular supply and demand, are being changed. Basing on all that information, analysts decide which region requires more attention. The 20th century was defined as the golden century of tourism. The development of the surface, water and air transport became a good startup for this economy branch. Host countries had to get under control the growing inflow of tourists. As a result, the International Congress of Official Tourist Traffic Associations had been created in The Hague in 1925, which developed regulatory standards and laws. Later it was given another name. Later it transformed into the World Tourism Organization. This is an intergovernmental organization which develops regulatory documents such as the Tourism Charter or the Tourist Code which informs tourists about the standards of conduct and relations which should be established with state authorities. Nowadays, each seventh worker in the world is employed in the tourist industry. Annually this number increases by another 3 million employees. More than a half of them are qualified. In the meantime, this tendency frightens tourists, UNWTO warns. Thus, two years ago, a low-quality service became the main reason of outflow of tourists from Paris. As a result, hotel keepers suffered considerable losses. Because of that, experts of the World Tourism Organization have developed a series of seminars and now recommend businessmen not to save their money on staff and regularly enhance competence of their workers. They conduct special seminars intended especially for guides, translators and workers in the sphere of tourism. Studies abroad in member states of the World Tourism Organization are also foreseen. Apart from professional development programs, there is one more educational project called TED-QUAL, 
Universities from different parts of the world can now be accredited and get this certificate of the World Tourism Organization. One of Kazakhstani universities became the first one in Central Asia which was awarded with such a certificate. This certificate affirms once again the high standard of knowledge given by the national university. It allows us to tell that this higher education institution prepares highly qualified specialists majoring in tourism. Along with well-skilled workforce, holidaymakers themselves play a very important role in the development of international tourism. Visitors often defy safety rules and ignore domestic laws, experts say. A bay in Spain, which has been closed for visitors for 10 years due to periodic landslides, is a demonstrative example. Nevertheless, foreign visitors are still attracted by the possibility of rock diving. As a result, cases of traumas and severe injuries are quite usual there. Experts note that tourists should obey laws and accept cultural and traditions of host countries. Such rules are described in the Tourist Code, which in its turn is reflected in the Tourism Charter, adopted by UNWTO far back in 1985. But despite this fact, each state should independently suppress infringements of local rules. Numerous caravans, hundreds of merchants and thousands of various goods from all parts of the world passed along the Great Silk Road. Now this unique trade route is planned to be revived but with another purpose. The initiators of the project are international organizations, among them is UNWTO. This project implies the creation of a single tourism product which would give travelers a chance of visiting one country and see several other states. The main area of this project is cultural and historical tourism. Ecotourism is another new and popular area. UNWTO has already paid attention to its development. Experts of the organization consider that mass tours to untouched wild nature areas should not damage the ecosystem. Therefore, the concept of sustainable development was worked out with the aim to protect the environment. Due to the ecological crisis in many parts of the globe, the World Tourism Organization focuses on the renewal of resources needed by particular countries and regions. The battle against climate change has also affected tourism. According to experts, the introduction of power-efficient technologies and renewable energy sources into tourism facilities will play a key role during the transition to the green economy. For this purpose, STREAM program was elaborated by UNWTO. The main idea of this project is to use innovative technologies in order to facilitate the adaptation of countries to the changing climatic conditions. It will give a chance, especially to Eastern Asian countries, to improve their environment for further attraction of tourists. The beauty of landscapes of Pakistan is called fantastic. However, tourists are unlikely to enjoy the fine views. After the terroristic attack in 2013, which killed eight foreign travelers, no tourist agency assumed the responsibility to arrange trips to this country. Of course, the modern conditions of globalization conceal a lot of threats and risks. Currently, there are global risks of tourism and religious extremism. It is a danger not only to national security of countries, but to the world community on the whole. Because of that, preventive measures are crucial in UNWTO's work. Illimitable cosmic space has also become interesting for tourists. Fourteen years ago, American entrepreneur Dennis Taito has become the first space tourist. He paid $20 million for the trip to the near-Earth orbit. However, the man is not going to confine himself to that and plans a tour to Mars in 2018.